your skin, Big Bandage. Hey guys, what is up? It is my face story here, and today what I want to talk to you guys about is what supplements I take for my skin or what supplements I take personally. This has been a highly, highly, highly requested video, and I do feel like to the best of your ability, you should be able to get all the nutrients that you can through food. Food is super healing. Food encourages the body's repair process. You can get antioxidants through food. A lot of the times you should be able to get enough nutrition through food, but sometimes I personally feel like food isn't enough. So I'm going to share with you guys which supplements exactly I take, what they, what I feel like they do, and if I feel like they help me, my body, or my skin. Because as you guys all know, I feel like the mind, body, soul is all connected. I feel like whatever you put in your body will probably show up on your face. There are, you know, exceptions. I've tried gluten-free, corn-free, vegan diet, and yet still break out. But I do feel like personally, it has helped me lessen the severity of my acne. So let's get into it. First supplement I want to talk about, and I have all of them, so I'm gonna show you guys. It's super simple, okay. This is just a multi-daily vitamin. So I just take this to make sure that I'm getting all of the nutrition I need in one day. It, this one has specifically vitamin A, C, D, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin, zinc, a little bit of zinc, and that's pretty much it. And this one is also gluten-free. It says it's good for your heart, eyes, immunity, bones. I mean, this is just a basic daily vitamin. I feel like this helps pretty much anyone just with your overall health if you're worried about that. And I know that this one is natural, yeah, no gelatin, gluten-free, so this one's good for vegans as well. And this one, I mean, the only difference I've really seen is maybe like a little bit in my hair growth and maybe a little bit in my skin, but I really just take this. Every single morning I take two uh, just for the sake of like feeling healthy. So that is that one. The next one I wanna talk about is probiotics. And there's so many different probiotics out there and I really haven't tried them all, but this one, PB8, is my favorite. And this one has a pretty good amount of bacteria in it. It has 10 billion good bacteria. And the yellow cap, so PB8 makes like three different kinds, blue, green, and yellow. And the yellow cap actually has immunity and digestion support, which for me, I feel like my acne personally is very closely tied to digestion and what's going on in my stomach. So I think this really does help me. And if you've ever been on an antibiotic, you wanna make sure that you're supplementing probiotics before, at, uh, during, and after, because antibiotics will kill all the bacteria in your gut, good and bad. So when it kills all the bacteria in your gut, the balance of like the bacteria <laughs> gets thrown off. And when that happens, that can actually cause acne. If bad bacteria start to overtake, it can show up in the form of acne, in the form of tiredness, in the form of achiness. It's just not good. Healthy gut, healthy skin, healthy life. So I am all for probiotics. I think probiotics are really important and definitely something that you should be supplementing. They do have ones that have higher strains and one that I'm about to try that I'll get back to you guys on and let me know if you've tried this is this Inner Eco Fresh Coconut Water Probiotic. And this is actually kefir, but this is supposed to have a hundred billion bacteria in it. So I'm like, okay, I see you, you know, I feel like it really helps with my stomach and I feel like whenever my stomach is good and happy, I feel good and happy and my skin is also good and happy. So I think probiotics really, really do help me. And that could also be because I was on antibiotics before and I feel like I didn't know to supplement with antibiotics and it really did mess up my stomach and it, I feel like it kind of messed up my skin as well. So just make sure that if you are going down that route for your skin, that you supplement with probiotics. It's so, so, so important. Next, since we're on the topic of gut health, I have like slight IBS. I didn't realize it until probably this year when I turned 23 that going to the bathroom after every single meal is not like a normal thing. So I've been focusing on my gut health, eating probiotic rich foods, taking probiotics every day, drinking bone broth, collagen, and this is one of the things that actually really, really has helped me. And I have the form of IBS where you always have to go. And this is the Zenwise Health Digestive Enzymes with prebiotics and probiotics. And this one also has immune support in it as well. 
I ain't never getting sick. <laughs> and I just take one of these with each meal. And these are actually natural. So it has like papaya in it, ginger, turmeric, fennel seed, peppermint, sea vegetable complex. Like this is all natural, which is awesome. Cause I don't really like, you know, putting a bunch of chemicals in my body if I don't have to. So it says it has enzymes, prebiotics, probiotics, supports digestion, proper nutrient, uptake and optimizes energy levels. I would 100% agree with all of that. I think that these are awesome. They, not to get like too much into detail, but they allow the food to sit in your stomach longer so that you properly digest it in the way that food's meant to be digested. And the problem with like uh, IBS where you have to go a lot is that your body isn't absorbing the nutrients. If, if you think about it, if you eat and then you go right after, your body hasn't had the proper amount of time to absorb all the nutrients from the food. It's just passing right through you. So this allows the nutrients to be absorbed better because it's slowing down that process and it's allowing your body to hang on to it for just a little bit longer. And I feel like this as well has helped my gut. For me, it's about being able to heal my gut, which I think has really helped with my skin. So I would really, really, really recommend this. And I got it on Amazon. I don't think it was too much. I think it was like 20 bucks. And you don't have to even take them like with every meal. You could start out that way and see. But I usually just take it with like, if I'm having like a bad meal or like a cheat meal or something I know that's gonna upset my stomach. Cause we can't be perfect all the time. The next thing, just like applying topically, vitamin C is a great antioxidant. I feel like this helps so much for collagen. This helps your skin to sense, sin the size collagen so it helps your body to process it and it really helps like just give your skin a brighter glow there's been studies showing that it can minimize the appearance of wrinkles and scarring and i think that you know again just as well as putting stuff on your skin like i love the banished vitamin c cream so much vitamin c in my body too why not love it so again, this one is gluten-free and I'm pretty sure it's vegan as well because it doesn't have the gelatin capsules. Oh wait, it does have gelatin capsules. Sorry, my bad, it's not vegan. I started taking this more as like immune support. Like uh, things I focus on, I think, are like digestion and immune system. This has great skin benefits as well. If you're taking collagen peptides, which is the next thing I'm about to get into, this helps your body to actually synthesize the collagen and use it better, which is great. You guys have probably seen these everywhere. Collagen peptides, Vital Proteins is my favorite. I have tried a couple different brands off Amazon. I just really wasn't a fan. I felt like they would hurt my stomach or they leave a weird taste in my mouth or I'd get a headache. But these ones I really, really, really love. I had a lot of you guys ask me how the heck did I get my hair to grow so fast? This is the answer. Seriously, my hair was like here before and I really started taking these, I guess, after Accutane because after I went on Accutane, my hair thinned out so bad and I kept getting this feeling during it and even after it that my joints hurt like my bones hurt I felt achy all the time and my hair was flying out and I just felt like my skin looked really papery and thin this has helped me incredible amounts I cannot rave enough about this especially for your hair it pretty much stopped my hair loss and I feel like my hair finally looks the same again it looks thick and healthy and it doesn't look like I'm balding which is ideal <laughs> but this just has basically the amino acids for your body to use it has collagen in it and a thing that people don't really talk about with amino acids is for hormones to have a healthy balance of hormones your body actually needs a good level of amino acids so this can help you as well if you have hormonal problems hair loss problems skin problems joint problems basically if you just want to look and feel young forever it's amazing and i actually only was using one scoop for probably like four months i didn't realize that the serving size was two and as soon as i upped it to two scoops i'm like holy crap i have seen like the most incredible results with this i love it love 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 amazing 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 I mean, when you think of collagen, you're thinking of like hair, skin, nails, so that is what this will do for you. Next thing, I promise I'm almost done. <laughs> and I don't take this every day, but I do try to put it whenever I have my breakfast smoothie, which is like almost every day. And this is just the green superfood from Amazing Grass. 
And I really take this more for like digestion, detox, and energy. This will give you so much energy and it also will help with immunity. And I am actually a pretty big fan of just like <laughs> things or powders that are you know 20 greens in one because i just feel like working all the time and being on the go it can be hard to eat healthy all the time and it can be hard to get all of your nutrients that day and sometimes i'm not gonna lie i eat really really bad in a day and sometimes i eat really really good but i feel like as long as i get this in the morning i kind of feel like i'm off to a good start because it does have like so many different vegetables in it. Wheatgrass, barley, alfalfa, spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, carrot, beet, spinach, pineapple, acai, maca. This I feel like is really great for the morning for energy, but this will help to alkalize your body as well. So if you're super acidic, which means if you drink a lot of pop, eat greasy foods, eat pizza, things that are pretty much like not the best for you, you probably have an acidic body. This will help to alkalize your body. I don't know if you guys have heard of alkaline diet before or not i might have talked about it before on the acne channel but alkaline diet has been shown to help with acne because it's like lower inflammation levels more greens more vegetables basically everything that's good for you so this is just this is just good for you i'm not necessarily saying that this will help 100 percent with your skin but it definitely helps with digestion with energy with immunity and i think it's just a good thing to take because for me personally again i don't get my vegetables every single day, I'm human. And taking this, I feel like, I feel better. Like, oh, I did get like some sort of greens today. Last but not least, and this I definitely don't take every day. I take this, you know, if I'm really stressed or if I can't sleep, and that is this CBD oil. Um, and CBD oil is not weed, it is legal. Um, I, I don't wanna, I think it comes from the cannabis plant. It comes from either the cannabis or the hemp plant. I'm, I don't know if it's the same thing. I don't know about all that. But what I do know is that it helps with inflammation, helps with overall bodily inflammation. It helps with reducing pain. It helps with anxiety. It helps with stress. Basically just like a Xanax. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that, but basically what it does. So I actually started taking this because I was having trouble sleeping and I found that it makes me a lot more chill. Like I used to have kind of OCD tendencies where I would like check to make sure that my car door was locked three times or like check to make sure the stove was off like 12 times. I'm like, what, why am I doing this? I feel like since I've been taking this, it's actually helped with that. And I'm kind of just like more chilled out. So since this lowers inflammation levels, it can help with your skin since it's an inflammatory disease. I felt more for me personally, again, like I said earlier, it's helped with kind of like the achy joint bone thing that I have. Like, I don't know what it is. It might be arthritis in my body. I have no clue. But yes, this will help with inflammation. And there have been studies showing that applied topically as well as taken internally that it has helped with acne. So you guys should do a little research on that. If not, I have an article on it that you can read on the Banished blog. And this one is pretty good, but this is a lower, lower, lower dose. This is like the lowest dose you're probably gonna find. This is like one milligram, so it's like barely anything. If you are just wanting to start out, I think this would be a good one to start at. And I actually, they sell this at Fresh Time. So you could always get it there. Yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below to the Acne channel. And I really hope that this video was informative, that maybe it helped you um, open up your eyes to, you know, some things that you may be experiencing or some things that maybe you should be supplementing yourself. Again, everyone's different, so I'm not necessarily saying that all these are going to work for everyone, but I know that they have made a difference in my skin, like, pretty drastically. And I would say, you know, definitely get a probiotic, definitely get vitamin C, and definitely get collagen peptides. If your stomach, if it's like a stomach thing, you know, make sure that you're getting all of your greens and make sure that you're doing the digestion. If it's more inflammatory, make sure you got that CBD oil. It really just depends if you can pinpoint what you think the cause is. That's it, that is all I got. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below. And yeah, I will see you next time. All right, bye.